Hello friend, and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. Today we are doing round 7 of the SSBB Clubman's Championship, and as you can see, the grid is a little bit light for that one. Uh, we're at uh, Kyoto, and this is the Category 1. As you can see, Slang was on pole, myself second, new guy Jurassic Jamie managed to uh, qualify third. And we got a pretty good start, me and Slang. Jamie, not so much. No transit up the inside. Of course, the Slang currently ahead of me in the championship, so any point I can take from him will be a point that I desperately, desperately need. Lots and lots of side by side there through the first S's. Get it all clean, which is nice and good. Nice and good. <laughs> Not quite sure that's uh, grammatically correct, but you know what I'm talking about. Gonna try and send up the inside. No. No, Slang just keeps too much speed up. Jurassic Jamie there goes out very, very dangerously wide. Manages to pull it back. Good work from the new guy. This is the Daniel section, which is a very, very complicated braking area. Uh, he's trying to stop the car. Go through this wibbly wobbly section here. Yeah, it's all a bit much when you haven't got any downforce. But hey, we managed it. Everyone's still alive. That's a good thing. We're going to try and stick with slang as well as we can, but now we've got to look in our mirrors because we have a Jurassic Jamie closing in. So I'm in a, uh, I'm in a Toyota sandwich here, which is a, a, a pretty, pretty lumpy sandwich, if I'm quite honest. I wouldn't want one, not with my old teeth. What are we talking about? Well, yeah, we're talking about racing. Trying to keep Slang's slipstream as best we can. Although, I do like to jump out of a slipstream whenever I know there's a tight corner coming. Because I do have this way of misjudging it completely. To that corner as wide as we could. Uh, that's never going to be a move. What I wanted to do was set up the slipstream for this particular part of the track. Have a look. We've got enough speed yet? No, no speed now. Don't want to break that B pillar rule. We go into the first corner, we're just ever so slightly ahead. Ever so slightly. What we want to do now is uh, position the car in such a way that Slang gets fed back towards Jurassic Jamie. Uh, that way I haven't got to deal with him, somebody else can deal with him instead. That's just my style of driving. So I'm not pushing with absolutely everything, but I'm definitely having to push 99% because Slang is a fast boy very fast here he sends it up the inside and just lost that lead again just positioned the car all wrong I'm try and come back at him on this section down towards the chicane who's lost the late breakers here uh oh that's too late too late ah, sorry Jamie almost murdered you just making sure you're still awake and that has absolutely ruined my race uh, third and last. Now I'm going to squirtle on now to the, the final lap. I'd spent the entire race trying to keep up. And can see there's been no change of position at the front. That's why I uh, edited out literally the entire race. Because nothing happened. At this point, this is approaching the final corner on the final lap. I felt I had a good run. I did send it. I don't think I broke the B pillar rule, but... I didn't like the um, I didn't like the way I torpedoed Jamie, so I gave him the position back, which which really stung because I wanted that point against Slang. Never mind. We will try again in the category two cars. Well, Strasi Jamie being uh, the lowest person in the lobby points wise, he's on pole. It's me second, and Slang is starting in third. We need to do all we can to get away faster than Slang. And if we can beat him, we can try and recoup some of the points that we lost in the first race. We're going to flash the lights there, say I'm hungry and ready to go. Three lights, four lights, five lights, and go. These are, of course, the Group 4 Toyotas. 
far more downforce. Oh, should we go three wide into the first corner? That sounds sensible. No, of course not. Let's try and scurry away from Slang here. Slang, of course, has his own plan, which involves beating me again. So uh, we need to figure out who has the best strategy. Is it my I'm going to win strategy, or is it Slang I'm not going to win strategy? So far, so good, but of course, these Group 4 cars are much, much better at following each other. Now they, they punch a nice big hole in the air. Oh, I thought Slang had got me there. I really did. Jurassic Jamie, once again, getting dropped. Uh, perhaps not because of skill, but more because of uh, the fact that he's not used to these cars yet. Not like Slang and I, we've been driving them now for, well, this is the seventh round, isn't it? So there you go, seven weeks. Don't worry, I'm sure he's going to get good. It'll be a real force to reckon with in the future. Keep your eye on him. Slang absolutely harassing me. Where have we gone? There we are. That's Slang absolutely harassing me through this part of the track. Look, he's just looking for a way around. Any mistake. Hungry, hungry, hungry Slang. Well, I don't need to come past, so no. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't know any more than that. Approaching the end of the first lap. I'm very, very happy with the way things are. What I'm not happy about is the fact that Slang's now going to get a nice toe. And should have a decent overspeed by the time we get to the first corner. So we need to be defending against that. But the case, it's just a little bit too far back. Okay, that gives us some room to breathe. Breathe we shall. When you're in these one-make races, you really have to make hay while the sun's shining. Really need to pull away. Because it can all go wrong so very quickly. As you saw in the first race, obviously. Uh, that was entirely my fault. Because I'm a pleb. A little bit wide through there. I think Slang made up some space. We head down towards the chicane once again, which claimed me in the first race. Jamie is all over slang. He's going for the move. Jamie's got ahead of him. This is brilliant for me. Because that means that I can now focus on, on pumping in apexes and exits and not worrying too much about what's going on behind me. Morning sun there glinting off my shiny car as we wibble our way forwards. As you can see, I built up quite the sizable lead. Uh, and eased off a little bit to be honest so once again not an action packed race uh, kind of simple all we really did here was just everything we needed to get ahead at the start pumping those lap times Slank went in second so I didn't take as many points away from him as I needed to really to get the status quo but you know damage limitation after 7 rounds top 3 looks like this Slang's leading the championship on 265 and 3 points behind I was on 2 or 3, but don't forget, at the end of the season there's a points drop. So, it's, it's closer than it looks. It's really, really close at the top. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's been great to have you. I hope you'll stick around, maybe for the next race. Perhaps give us a thumbs up if you're in a thumbs up sort of mood. Thank you to everybody on Discord who puts up with my innate ramblings, mood swings, and everything else that, um, that people like me... Uh, you know, if people suffer. Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to those around you. Bye-bye for now.